Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your January 1st through January 7th weekly tarot reading. Now, generally my readings are love readings, but we will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I have to remind you that this is not a private reading, so the whole thing might not resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. Look at this, six, 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 six. Remind you that this may not resonate with every single person, okay? I just need it because I'm sure somebody will comment, this doesn't resonate or something like that. And you know, there's, there's really, it may not, it's, it may not be for you, okay? Right, so you know, you guys really need to let go of a situation. <laughs> same old story, right? Right? I mean, that's what somebody's gonna write. Oh, it's the same old story. You keep telling the same old story. I keep telling the same old story. Well, come on now. That's the problem. Placing blame on somebody else is the problem. Okay? And, and you know, I thought about this yesterday when I was, I was going to do this reading yesterday, but. I have a head cold and I just I couldn't even talk so I put it off till today um, anyhow the thing is is if things don't change unless you take action you have the power to create changes this is the magician card you have the power you have the knowledge you have the skills you have whatever it takes to bring whatever you love into your life you do you know, you have the progress to succeed. You have the progress to be triumphant. And the progress. The skills. Okay? You have the skills to be triumphant. Should you just decide to use them. Okay? You just have to take it into your own hands. Alright? But this past is in the reverse. You have to release the past. Part of the magician is being willing to release the past. Being willing to release, okay? Being willing to change. Part of the magician is willingness, okay? So for it is upright, thank God. You All you have to do is take action to succeed. But you can't manifest something that isn't meant to be. And I think that a lot of you have been trying to do that. I'm not sure who, who, who it's for, but somebody's been trying to manifest something that isn't happening that isn't meant to be and you can't change destiny okay the thing is is for many of you you're not receiving the love that you have been trying to manifest you're not receiving the love that you've been trying to manifest and you've been working hard on trying to manifest this but the fact of the matter is 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 this is the four of swords it's over okay the end is here the end has happened but you're not accepting it so yes, the same old story. It's the same old story. It's not my fault. It's the same old story. You have to take action. The one and only you have to take action, not me. I can't tell you a different story if you aren't willing to change. Okay? So that's, that's, that's what it is. You have to be willing to go out. You have to be willing to have fun. You need to be willing to make new friends. You have to be willing to move on. You have to be stop feeling mentally restless. You need to stop feeling spiteful and you need to stop trying to um, argue your way into situations. You need to go with the flow. You're, you need to stop trying to control things and just let things happen. You need to take a risk. I mean, you you need to be able to start something new. And, I, and you know, with the full card reversed, you're not willing. 
So yeah, it's the same old story. It's the same old story. If and, and don't I mean if you write down below, well yeah, it's the same shit show, you're telling me the same story. All you readers are saying the same shit for Libras. Wow. Okay then. If all the readers are saying the same same shit, it's the reader's fault. And that's where you go wrong. Okay? There's no new doors opening because you're blocking it. You're blocking it by not taking a new step, by not, by not taking a risk, by not stepping outside of your comfort zone, by trying to manifest something that is dead. You know, something crashed a while ago and you're hanging on to it. And if you hang on to it for ever, whatever, you know, however long you hang on to it for is however long the same shit show is going to play. All right. I feel like, you know, there's been a lack of communication, maybe with this person you've been trying to manifest. You know, they may have even blocked you or stopped all communication with you. They may be involved with somebody else. There's somebody watching this that is going through what I'm saying. Okay, like I said, it's not for everybody. And being defensive is going to get you nowhere. And you've been being defensive. And it's time to let your guard down and stop being defensive. Okay? It's time to get your life back on track. 666. 666. It's about choices. It's about... Time, it's time to bring balance and harmony back to your life. It's a wake-up call. It's, it is. It's a, it's a wake-up call. It's a spiritual wake-up call that says, Hey, it's time to get your life back on track. Okay? It's time. These sixes are reversed. you got one upright. To, to get your life back on track. You need and to have success and to have victory and triumph, you know, and to to have what you're looking for. You have to take action. You have to be willing to change. It's, you can't expect anybody else to do it. You have to shed the old. That's all there is to it. You know, right now things are not moving forward in in your heart's desire in the area towards the what your heart is wishing for there's no forward movement because you aren't taking the correct action and willingness to shed the old you're trying to manifest you're trying to to grow something that is dead Trying, you're trying to control a situation that is no longer in your control. It's over, you know. If something crashed a while ago. It broke down, and you just can't let it go. That's all there is to it. Another six. It's time to move out of this spot that you have so been stuck in. You know, it's time. It's time to bring peace and harmony back to your life. It's a transition time. It is. It's a time of growth. It's time for you to transition from this place of no forward movement, this place of no no receiving communication this place of having your guard up this place of trying to please whoever it is to the point where you're you're losing it you're doing everything possible to please somebody giving it nurturing doing anything possible to to get this ultimate uh, abundance of love but the fact of the matter is it's not happening and it's transition time and it's because the thing is, it is because it's time to step over the finish line. 
It's time to complete the cycle. It's time to start a new chapter. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Aries, Gemini. Pretty prominent earth sign here. So many of you are dealing with an earth sign. You know, and it's just this person is not budging. They are not budging, okay? And it could be anybody. Could This could be anybody that is, is taking on this king's energies. Somebody who is stubborn. Somebody who has made their decision. They're not changing it. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, how much work you put into it, this person is not going to change their mind. Very headstrong. You've been patient, and it's still not working out, okay? It's still not working out. There's no forward movement. I feel like somebody has blocked all communication. And the time is now for you to move on. This week, it's time for you to accept the truth that something has ended. Because it's absolutely time for you to start your new chapter with this world card. Something has ended. It's time for you to start brand new. This is a major new beginning. It means you've learned something big. You complete one cycle. You step over the finish line. You celebrate that success of that karmic debt being paid. And you start your new chapter. It was a test. This was a test. Okay? You've learned something big through this through this scenario. And it's been going on for a really long time. And it is absolutely time to get your life back on track. Things have been out of control. Something crashed down a while ago and you've been holding on to it and trying to manifest change and trying to manifest this to happen and doing everything you possibly can to turn it around and but somebody is not budging. It's time to bring peace and harmony back to your life. You must reevaluate. It is absolutely time to reevaluate your your next chapter. Do you want to continue to live like this, the way that you've been living? Do you want to continue to wait for something that's never going to happen? It is a time of reevaluation. For real, not just because it's the beginning of January, the beginning of a new year. It's a time of reevaluation because you have been not, you've been trying to manifest something that hasn't been happening. Okay? Which is not giving you what you desire. So this week is about reevaluation, reevaluation for the next year. Okay? Do you do you really want to continue this cycle? For many of you, you're you're going to you're going to start a new one because this card is here. This is the end of a cycle. Some of you will still be confused and you will still be in the illusion. Okay? Some of you will not. Some of you will realize that somebody isn't isn't changing their stance. They're not they're not they're they're headstrong. I mean they, they know they're not changing their mind. And this person may have blocked you completely. Or you may have blocked them. There is some kind of blockage here. You know, they may have blocked you any at any contact completely. Okay? Romance. 
read it to you because I can't remember these. Lavish the one that you love with personal attention and affection. Quality time is what is needed now. Whether you are in a relationship or in between relationships, do something special that brings romance back into your life. If, it, if you are single, it is important that you do something for you. It is. Do something for yourself. Go If you're single, go out with your friends. Have some fun. Put yourself out there. But be open to meeting somebody new. Okay? You have to be open to it. It's time for you to find romance if you are single. If you are in a relationship and you are struggling, then this card says to do something special to bring the romance back in your life with your partner. Most people that are watching these videos are single. Not all. So I'm sure somebody will contact, I'm not single. And that's fine. Whatever. I don't, I, you know, that's part of the problem. People that comment like that. I mean, that's part of the problem. Defenses. Defenses. It's time to let your defenses down and start a new journey for real. Right now, wherever you're at, whatever whoever this is for, somebody is hanging on to something that is, is dead. Dead end. Dead. Okay, somebody's holding on to something that is there's nothing out there's nothing left. And you're being urged to start a new journey. Are you going to take it? Do you want romance? Because that's what the basis of this reading is really about. Romance. If you want it, you have to be willing to use your resources to shed the old. Talk to you later, Libra.